So you're playing with Wayne Sticks right now. Do you play any other um, groups from Vancouver? Yeah, in fact, I'm just about to play Exotone, which is actually the second song on this album. Oh, that's and, and they're they're a good lead into each other, so. Uh... Japanese pop music out there always has been. Really, but now there's there's some new stuff. We were just over in Japan a couple of years ago, and uh, the the uh, the whole scene over there is, is incredible. Well, I mean, it's just it, the, like the, the like the punk scene and the metal scene is is just it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I mean, uh, you know, all over, and the kids are just fanatical. They're well, fanatical. They're, they're, they're very accommodating. I, hey, well, not only that, I mean, and they love Vancouver. They love Vancouver, like we. The guy that, that that puts out our records over there and does our shows, uh, Toshio from Bass Records. Uh, I went into his store and I'm looking through a bunch of stuff and I find I, I look and I see oh, Randy Rampage EP, you know, which I mean usually sells for about seventy two dollars now, and uh, you know, over there three hundred and eighty five dollars Canadian, <laughs> young Canadians, young Canadians, yeah. Hawaii, first pressing, yeah, right? one thousand yeah. dollars. Good. One thousand oh, dollars Canadian, yeah, over a thousand Canadian there, and I mean, and these kids romance. don't buy it because they want the vinyl. Like vinyl is really big over there right now, and there's like this big, big resurgence of the punk thing, you know, and and, and uh, it's it's just great. It's great to watch. You know, we had a blast. The pointed sticks were over there. Joey Joey just sent the pointed sticks over there. Right. And they did did about I think about five shows. And they, they were just, it was the first shows they did in 25 years. What kind of and they did it in Japan. And it was just, they, they were blown away. It was just like, wow. How you many know? people would be at, at one of their shows? Well, the it depends. I mean, there's some, some nights you'll play and it'll be like 200, and some nights you play, it could be 2,000. Yeah. You know, it depends what, what, what venues you're playing. And, uh, you know, like if you're in Tokyo and you're doing like, uh, you can do it usually three, two or three shows in the Tokyo area, and then uh, you know, and, and all the other places. But uh, yeah, they're usually about five. You know, they're around five hundred to a thousand, sort of Commodore type shows. And were they treating you well? Like oh, lots, they lots treat you like God. Backstage. I mean, they treat you like God. We we flew down. We flew down to the furthest south tip of Japan, down to Miyazaki, yeah. and we thought, well, who's going to come and see us play? It's like this weird, it's like the Beverly Hills of Japan. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it, it really, there's no garbage, there's like these beautiful palm trees and beautiful paved streets and like little strip malls and stuff, right, you know? And we thought, who's going to come see us play here? Well, we get in there, we get to the airport, and there's like 300 kids with like posters of like me and Joe and stuff, right? You know, it was unbelievable. And the whole time we were there, we had this this like little troubadour clan following us on like you know mopeds and like whatever bicycles and vans and shit everywhere we went and they were so polite like they'd just be quiet they'd just like come behind us and we'd, we'd go into a store to do some shopping and they'd be like doo -doo 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 -doo. You know, very very polite and we'd be come on guys let's party and they'd be oh no 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 you have fun you have fun oh you have good <laughs> you know it was great it was it was so much fun it was yeah. so much fun Randy Rampage in Japan yeah God. okay here we are radio radio on the radio it's exactly seven o'clock and of course as you know this is the home of Nardwar the human serviette